Inflation, what is it and what does it mean for educators? Inflation has been making headlines for the last year, but what do politicians and economists mean when they're talking about it? Inflation is a term used to describe the pound becoming less valuable. And it's tracked by looking at the costs or the changing costs of everyday items. Let's look at inflation in action. Here are 10 slices of bread. The price of bread has risen by 28% in the last year, which means instead of these 10 slices, you would get about seven slices of bread for the same price. Food has been one of the most affected by inflation, but across the economy, we've seen an 8.7% rise in inflation. We've all felt the squeeze on the pound in our pockets, and it means that our money just doesn't extend or stretch the way it used to. And this is especially the case for many of us where our wages are not keeping up with inflation. And this is what economists mean when they say that people are experiencing a real terms pay cut. So our pay packets might look the same at the end of every month, but the reality is very different. But here's the thing, rather than government stepping forward in this crisis and helping you, it's blaming you. Andrew Bailey, the governor of the Bank of England, told us, We've got to get and we will get inflation back to its target. To do that, we cannot continue to have the current level of wage increases. That is nonsense and we know this all too well. Key workers have not had above inflation pay rises for the last decade. Public sector wages over the last 13 years have fallen behind inflation year on year. Even when inflation was low, public sector workers were suffering a real terms pay cut. And guess what? Even in the Bank of England's own report, they have admitted this. Pay rises have been concentrated in higher paying sectors, such as financial and business services, whereas pay growth in lower paid sectors has been broadly flat. What does this all mean for the average teacher? Well, it means since 2010, they've lost on average 64,350 pounds. Let me say that again. Since 2010, the average teacher has lost 64,350 pounds. Teachers' wages haven't caused price rises, and yet government is asking teachers to pay for it. That's just wrong. This is why the National Education Union is demanding that government gives teachers a fully funded, above inflation pay rise. If you think that teachers shouldn't be paying the price for inflation, share this video now.